Good morning. We have three interwatch items for you today. First one's going to be an injury accident that occurred at Pawnee and Topeka. The second one will be an aggravated assault that occurred in the 2400 block of North Mascot. And the last one we're just going to talk about Wichita Police Department and Wichita Public Works teaming up over this busy shopping season that's going to begin on Friday on into the next month. First one is uh, going to be case number 16C 81836. It's an injury accident that occurred at Pawnee and Topeka yesterday at approximately 4.30 p.m. On November 22nd at approximately 4.30 p.m. officers were dispatched to a motor vehicle collision at Pawnee and Topeka. Officers arrived and began to investigate the motor vehicle collision and the investigation showed that a 56 year old male was traveling east on Pawnee, excuse me, on Pawnee from Broadway on a moped. A 19 year old male was traveling south on Topeka in a 1998 Lexus. He had stopped at the stop sign at Pawnee and then proceeded into the intersection and struck the moped. The 56 year old male was taken to an area hospital in critical condition and his current condition is unknown at this time. Did he just not see him, Charlie? Or was he just accident? Well, they're, they're still looking into the, the case, still investigating the case. They'll look and see if speed was a factor or anything. Uh, the motor vehicle had stopped at the intersection and then proceeded into the intersection and struck him. So I don't know how, how definite speed would be a factor at that point. I don't know if there was another vehicle uh, next to him or what the case was, but he had uh, entered into that intersection and struck the moped as the moped was traveling through the intersection. Was the uh, individual in the car 19? 19, correct. And what type of vehicle again? It was a 1998 Lexus. Traveling southbound on Topeka. Mm -hmm. Yep, south on Topeka. I have no indication of that. Second, the moped driver was not. He was not. Second case is going to be 16C 81847. 81847, it's an aggravated assault. Occurred in the 2400 block of North, Mas North Mascot. Occurred yesterday approximately 6 p.m. On November 22nd, approximately 6 p.m., officers were dispatched to a check shots call in the 2400 block of North Mascot. Upon arrival, they made contact with a 23-year-old female who reported hearing several gunshots and then finding damage to her home. Multiple bullets had struck the home, which was also occupied by a 48-year-old female, a 1-year-old male, and a 3-year-old female. There were no injuries reported, and we do not have any suspect information at this time. We do ask if you are in that area or you have any other additional information on this case to please call our Wichita Police Department detectives at 268-4407 or Crime Stoppers at 267-2111. There was four. There was the 48-year-old female, one-year-old male, a three-year-old female, and then the the victim that the officers contacted who was a 23 year old female so four total any neighbors see any vehicles or people right. we have no suspect information at all Investigators will definitely look to see if any of those are linked together to see if they may be involving the same people. At this point, I don't have that information, but that's something definitely we'll look to see uh, if there's any type of connection between them. Last thing I want to cover is just the Wichita Police Department and Wichita Public Works are teaming up uh, to help protect shoppers. Friday will be one of the busiest shopping days of this year and begins a very ship busy sh shopping Christmas season. The Wichita Police Department, Wichita Public Works Department have teamed up to help protect shoppers. 
the Wichita Police Department Public Works will be placing portable traffic message signs. They look much like the construction signs that you see at construction sites. They will be set throughout the city of Wichita in shopping areas warning shoppers to hide your keys. I'm sorry, hide your items. Take your keys and lock your vehicle. <clears throat> This is not only a busy time for shoppers, but can be a busy time for thieves. We hope to prevent auto thefts and vehicular break-ins by providing shoppers with a very simple this by providing shoppers with this very simple reminder. The signs will move to different shopping areas around Wichita and will operate 24 hours a day, and will remain out uh, in the area in shopping areas through Monday, December the 26th. Again, uh, yeah, it's very important because not only is it going to be a very sh busy shopping season, but it can be a very busy time for thieves. A lot of times they will just look into cars. It takes just a matter of seconds for them to be able to break into a car through a window or an unlocked uh, door, obtain whatever they see that's in plain sight, and then be gone. So we just ask that everybody be a little bit more aware of their surroundings. Make sure that they're hiding items in their vehicle. If they have to leave them in their vehicle, if they can take them with them, we would obviously encourage them to have them uh, carry those items with them. But hide those items in their vehicle out of plain sight. Take their keys with them. Don't leave them in the vehicle. And make sure that you do lock your vehicle to help protect your items as well. How long are these signs going to be posted? They are posted currently. They were posted beginning, I believe, Monday. Sometime around Monday or Tuesday. And then they will remain uh, out in sh different shopping areas. They'll be moved from time to time through Monday, December the 26th, after, of course, the busy shopping season, and then the day after Christmas is usually a, a big day to return items. So that's also a day that we ask people to be aware as well. Is it too early to ask this? Uh, in the past, you guys have had the mounted patrol. Uh, is that still ongoing, or do you plan on doing that? I haven't been notified that animal, or I am, that uh, mounted unit will be in the shopping areas. However, they have been for many years, so I would gather to say that more than likely they will be out in the shopping areas helping to patrol helping give a little extra patrol to those parking lots those areas that tend to be busy shopping areas as well anything else all right have a good day and a good Thanksgiving